the Apollo astronauts walking on the moon took pictures of their lunar module showing no blast crater underneath the spacecraft, which means it's a model on a soundstage. No, it's not. We're looking at that today on Vintage Space. All right, to understand why there's no blast crater underneath the lunar modules, we have to look at the spacecraft's descent stage. The descent engine was the larger of the two between that and the ascent stage, because this was the one that would actually slow the spacecraft to a nice soft touchdown on the lunar surface. As such, it's pretty big and powerful. The descent engine had a maximum thrust of 10,500 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but they didn't have that much thrust at the moment of landing. The descent engine actually did a lot of work on Apollo lunar landings. It wasn't just the physical landing. After the lunar module and command module separated, the lunar module only had that descent engine to change its orbit, to begin the deorbit insertion burns, to start actually slowing from lunar orbit speeds to that slow landing on the surface. It wasn't just one go. There were multiple burns of this engine to change the spacecraft's trajectory and begin slowing its speed. The burns to slow the spacecraft down and ready it for landing were far more powerful than the burn for the actual landing. Now, the important thing to remember here is that the descent stage engine was throttleable, and the astronauts didn't have it on full throttle when they were making the actual physical landing. Even though the engine had a maximum thrust of 10,500 pounds, it was only at about 3,000 pounds at the moment of touchdown. Add to that the alien environment of the moon. The moon only has about one-sixth the amount of gravity that we have on Earth. So 3,000 pounds of thrust coming out of that engine will actually feel like less on the moon. And the moon has no atmosphere, so the thrust of that engine can actually spread out and dissipate away from the engine more than it could on Earth. Instead of the thrust being directed straight downwards, it has a chance to actually billow out to the sides a little bit more. So even though the astronauts are landing with 3,000 pounds of thrust, the force of that thrust is actually dispersed well enough that it disturbed the dust, but didn't leave a massive crater. So while the astronauts landed with about 3,000 pounds of thrust coming out of that descent stage engine, the force was actually spread out enough such that it disturbed the dust, but didn't make a massive crater. And in some cases, the descent stage engine was cut before the actual landing, meaning that the thrust of the rocket engine wouldn't have had as much time or as much proximity to the moon to make any kind of impact. So does this help explain why there are no blast craters underneath the lunar modules? If you still need a bit more convincing or want to see a bit more of the work that went into figuring this out, I've got links below to people who actually did and can do the math to explain why the force is not as strong when landing on the moon and not strong enough to make a blast crater.